on the banks of the River Jordan in the heart of the Galilee, where the first Jewish pioneers settled with their kibbutzes, lies an old abandoned boarding school. In cooperation with the Jewish agency, Gentiles are helping to fund and restore these buildings to help new immigrants in the process of making Aliyah. In addition to restoring buildings, they plant gardens. And there's just something so significant about planting here in the land. Because in Jeremiah 32 verse 41, it talks about how God will rejoice over His people and that He'll surely plant them in the land with all of His heart and all of His soul. And we can see Him doing this with Jewish people from all over the world coming and putting their roots down deep in the land. And it's just such an amazing thing to be part of. Our heart is to basically to educate people, to explain to them the history of the Jewish people and, and the beautiful restoration and hope that it gives other indigenous cultures. Israel has a very unique and um, special role to play in the world, regardless of what liberal media says regardless of the propaganda and the anti-Semitism that's out there. So there's a beautiful thing that's taking place, uh, and we're living in these prophetic times. When the indigenous people are returned to their land, the land flourishes and blossoms, and we as native people see the Jewish people as being the indigenous people of Judea, and we're seeing the land coming to life and blossoming, just like scripture prophesied. Come and praise Creator's name. You know, sometimes, People ask, why do you love Israel so much? And it's because I love the God of Israel. And God loves this land. He loves these people. And I want to love what God loves. And so this is why I come here so often to serve here. And every time I come back, I see more things growing. I see um, more things improving in Israel. And I know that what the Bible says when he says he'll come back and um, his land will flourish when his people come back and they'll never leave it again. And I, I believe that that's true. I believe that this uh, Aliyah uh, Return Center is helping that to happen. And I wanted to be a part of that. Jews and Gentiles, you know, working along side by side. I, I don't think I can find the proper words, um, but my heart sinks. <laughs> And it's been the people that have meant the most for us. We've come here for the Jews to give back a tiny bit. I have loved this time more than any other time in my life. And although this sounds odd, it is the absolute truth. It has been like heaven on earth. It's just amazing to be here. God not only is moving in the land of Israel, but the last piece of the puzzle that we began to see was that God was using Gentiles, the sons of the foreigners, to help bring them back, that we would carry the sons and the daughters on our shoulders and on our hips, um, that we would be a part of uh, replanting the vineyards, that we would be a part of uh, being their plowmen, restoring the buildings and, and doing the work here in Israel. I was walking along the Jordan and the Lord spoke to my heart and he said, May this river never just become another river to you. May this land never just become another land to you. And may these people never just become another people to you. 